Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the John Lennon 2010 CD Signature Box Set. Before we dive into this, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, share and comment on what I should review or unbox next. Anyway, let's open this box. On the front cover we have what is the word Lennon glossified with the uh, back cover of Imagine. Outside of that, it's n n nothing really else. It's just really a, you know, a white box. Nothing really important. Anyway, you, with this couple thingy that was that came with the original set, you get to you get see what is included. You have his eight uh, studio albums, which are digitally remastered from the original audio mixes. It also includes two bonus CDs with thirteen unreleased tracks, a sixty-page book, and seventeenth birthday commemorative print, plus access to the exclusive John Lennon online universe and then on the other side you get to see more of what is included so the these are his eight studio albums this is what the full set looks like here are what are on the first cd which is just his non-album tracks and the second cd are outtakes and home recordings Plus, you know, the other stuff. So uh, so there are a few paintings w within the box that house the CD and all the other stuff included. This is the first painting, which seems to be uh, John and Yoko in the clouds. And, you know, this is John and Yoko maybe, you know, kissing and, you know, uh, doing some other naughty stuff. Now, we're going to get into the main box. So you see that there's a little ribbon, and if you don't know any sets, the little ribbon you used to pull stuff out. So let's pull this, and uh, and firstly, you get this book. So this is a book with the word yes on it, and it's it's quite it's hard back, and it's pretty well made. Nothing on the back. So when you open it, you get more of the imagined back cover and it's called and the book is called john lennon the life and afterlife written by anthony d curtis and it's a um, okay read definitely is fun to read when you're listening to the set Oh, so this this includes quotes and pictures as well as and drawings drawings that John made And this is just the credits and some copyright info of the people who works on this. And of course, always over if you want it to be. Back looking at the box, next we have from Yoko, Julian, and Sean. Basically, oh, <laughs> well, basically, this is just a little blurb from um, Yoko, uh, John's wife, Julian, and Sean. 
also find it interesting that Julian, the non-yokel child, does not have any special letter. Hmm. And then at the back you have, give peace a chance. Finally, before we get into the CDs, we have this online code, which is the one, which is the way to access the John Lennon universe. Now this code was discontinued in 2012, so sadly, I can never use it. Finally, it's time for the CDs. So firstly, we have John Lennon Plastic Ono Band. Now, I'm going to give you a quick look into all these CDs. But firstly, I'm going to compare them to, to the Beatles 2009 remastered CDs. You can see cover-wise, it's pretty similar. So you have, you know, the album covers on for most of the screen with just a little banner next to them. But the back cover is a bit different. The John Lennon set has the back of the album with another blurb, while the Beatles have a new reworked version of the original back cover. When we open them up, we have some differences. Firstly, you see the middle part here. The John Lennon only has two flat part, uh, two parts there. The Beatles has three, with one, with one just being a photo. One, now the CD is similar, but there's no real gap here, and the booklet is different. So the extended photo is just still over there, while the, uh, so you have to access the book from under there, while the, the CD, you can just get the book by checking it out there. Now as I've finished looking at the Beatles stuff, it's time to look into each album, and I'll tell you my thoughts. So, this is, as I've said, John Lennon Plastic Ono Band. His first one that came out in 1970, so his first post-Beatles album. If you're curious, this does not include those early experimental stuff he did with Yoko, because why would they? So, of course, you get a book. So, at first, you have the album cover for John Lennon Plastic Ono Band, but at the back, you get the cover... For Yoko Ono Plastic Ono Band, which is basically Yoko's sister album to this. So, obviously you get some drawings, as well as some blurbs and photos about each book. And then at the end you get the lyrics. And this is what the CD looks like. What are my thoughts on this album? Great. It's probably his best one. Uh, thoughtful, emotional, honest, nothing you'd see in the Beatles. Next we have Imagine, his most famous album. And this is the booklet. So what are my thoughts on this album? It's good. Not as good as Plastic Ono Band, but still quite solid. Though there are some missed tracks. Overall, but the great tracks are like really great. And of course, this is his famous jab at Ram. And his famous white room poster and this is a cd now we have the uh controversial uh somewhere sometime in new york which was done with yoko woman is the of the world is included on this one if you're curious now being a double album this is the only one where we have the double beetle fold Now we have the booklet. What are my thoughts on the album? Well, not really since the world's second disc, which is a live album. 
The first half is, uh, meh, it's not the worst thing. Um, I don't like some of the songs, but some of them are actually okay. I mean, honest, uh, some of them, I actually find some of the accords to be fun sometimes. Overall, as an album, I do not recommend it, though. And the life part, the first thing is, uh, it's just meh. Uh, those, uh, like, we are, uh, so, like, it's like, the, so for the first record, now we have the two CDs. So the first CD, you know, is not very good. But then after the second live disc, and like the first half is, uh, you run live recording of Toad, Cutty, Toad Cold Turkey and its B side. And then the second half is some live recording they did with Frank Zappa back in 1971. It you know, not very good. Though I actually don't think this is the worst thing ever, I do not recommend listening to this. Now, following that, he broke up with Yono, and now we have Mind Games. Now we have the booklet. My thoughts on this record? It's okay. Not really listened to this one in a while. Um, yeah, it just, just didn't really stand out to me. Not really a lot of major amazing stuff. So you don't have a, any real thoughts on it. It's just meh. Don't have to CD. And now we have his 1974 album, Walls and Bridges. And now the booklet. What are my thoughts on this record? I like it. It's like, be it's better than mind games. It's not like top tier Imagine Plastic on the band, that kind of stuff. But it's really enjoyable and there are plenty of fun songs. If you're curious, if you if you if you're often listening to this, I'm a McCartney guy myself. So and if you compare this to his stuff, absolutely inferior. But when you look at Lennon stuff and just music in general, it's pretty good. And this is the CD. Now we have Rock and Roll from 1975, which was his last summer for five years since he retired to have a baby. And is a album full of covers of old rock and roll classics. Here's the booklet. Well, um, what is my thoughts on this album record? Uh, it's okay. I like it. It's enjoyable. Happy he made this, especially at this point of his career. But overall, it's just not something I would, uh, you know, put on myself. And this is the CD. And now we have his seventh album. Double Fantasy from 1980, which was his first album in five years. It also happens to be his last for, well, obvious reasons. This was his planned return to music after a five year hiatus. Sadly, that never came because of uh, the fact that, you know. What are my thoughts on this record? Well, um, I like it. It's definitely fun. I would like, I like, I like to listen to it every now and then, and it's fun. Again, not uh, nothing like what McCartney was doing, but it was a fun record, and definitely showed signs of what could have been a good future career. Now we have Milk and Honey, his final record, supposed to be released shortly after Double Fantasy, but was shelved after you know, after his um you know, and but was revived in nineteen eighty three and came out in nineteen eighty four. This is another collaboration between John and Yoko. I forgot to mention Double Fantasy was a collaboration between John and Yoko. my thoughts on this record well 
it's okay. It's good. But like, comparing it to Double Fantasy, it definitely isn't as good compared to it, you know. But I still have, they're a fun song, and it definitely is gonna, it was definitely another good record. Rest in peace, John. And this, and this is a CD. Now if you got all those main albums out of the way, it's time to look at the last two CDs on the set. Singles and home tapes. Nothing much to say about these ones. The uh, singles include uh, Power to the People, War Happy Christmas War is Over, Instant Karma We All Shine On, Cold Turkey, Give His Chance, you know, all of his famous non-album tracks, but also Revolve from Mrs. Hell, which was just a uh, B-side to his cover of Stand By Me from Rock and Roll. And then we have Home Tapes, which were just outtakes and home demos that would ju that just were not used. These are the two CDs. You know, nothing much to say about them. They're just what I said. Now I've gotten this box cleaned. There are, is another rhythm down at the bottom right here. And, and if you pull it, you will find a little... So this is the book, and I don't know if you can... Okay, you can see it in certain lightings. We can see how John, the word John Lennon embossed on it. Nothing on the back. When you open it, you, you there's this picture of John and Yoko next to a tree, just like the cover of plastic. Oh, band right here. And it's called a family tree. Anyway, if you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell, share the video, and comment on what you think I should do next. Product links might be below, I don't know, but this is again 10 years, <laughs> this came out 10 years ago, and there's now like new ultimate remixes of all of this stuff, so this will not be as readily available. Anyway, this is Beta Final 9, and rest in peace, John Lennon.